While the weapon of choice for both the Uvalde and Buffalo mass shootings were an AR-15 style rifle. According to a leading gun industry group, there are approximately 20 million of these weapons in circulation in the U.S. And tonight in a CBS News investigation, we take a look at how gun makers are marketing these assault style weapons for young people. Here's CBS's Katherine Herridge. So what we have here is a scaled down AR-15 and polymer. The JR-15 from We One Tactical is marketed for the youngest customers. So it fits the kids really well. After mass shootings in Buffalo and Uvalde, Texas, the company removed this image from its website that touted the JR-15 as smaller, safer and lighter. Has the marketing become more brazen? It certainly has become more brazen. Ryan Bussey, former firearms executive turned advocate for gun reform, told CBS News the push to reach children and their parents ramped up in the early 2000s. The industry felt a desire to grow. Get the young shooters shooting a particular platform, AR-15, early, and then they will buy several of them through their lifetime. The data shows six of the country's deadliest mass shootings in the last four years were committed by men 21 or younger. As part of a recent settlement with families of nine Sandy Hook victims shot dead by a 20-year-old, lawyer Josh Koskoff really reviewed the gun makers' internal records. The gun industry know exactly what's going on. The parent has no say. They're reaching around the parent and getting to the kid. Some states, including Connecticut, opened the courthouse doors to allow marketing lawsuits against manufacturers. California's governor wants this legal option available in his state. You've got folks out there manufacturing and marketing an AR-15 for babies. Firearms are marketed to those who can lawfully purchase them, the industry trade group told CBS News in a statement, adding, parents should have the ability to safely and responsibly teach their children what a responsible firearm owner looks like. Working with Uvalde families, Koskoff is exploring legal options against Daniel Defense that made a gun allegedly used in the shooting. The company posted this tweet before the attack. That company had been courting that shooter for years. The two gun makers featured in our report, Daniel Defense and We One Tactical, did not respond to multiple requests for comment. Nora. Catherine Herridge, thank you so much for that investigation.